We come into Tuesday after a very wild and confusing Monday session of trade. We had initially seen a massive risk liquidation on the back of coronavirus fears and a sell the fact on U.S. stimulus going through before risk assets finally were supported and, and then some into the latter half of the day. Stocks had initially been crushed and the dollar rallied before this all turned around. But ultimately, when we look at the price action, the net result was a market that came under pressure despite attempts at recovery. And if we consider where the dust settled, it does suggest we could see a resumption of risk liquidation and dollar demand. We continue to warn the market hasn't done a good job reacting to what will be a heavy price on the global economy from the coronavirus, especially with monetary policy and government stimulus tools so exhausted in 2021. We've also had many weeks of the market hanging on to the good news of a vaccine and the U.S. stimulus. And now that this is out of the way, it's hard to find anything to really feel great about other than the incentive to be long risk assets just for the incentive alone. As far as Brexit updates go, Boris Johnson has made a last minute attempt to secure a deal with a new proposal on fisheries, and we will wait to see if this is enough to get things over the finish line. Today's calendar features German GFK consumer confidence, UK business investment, UK current account, UK GDP, UK public sector net borrowing, US GDP, US existing home sales, and the Richmond Fed manufacturing index. That's all for now.